Nas X has been busy shocking the world with his demonic content like his Montero Call Me By Your Name music video and the matching Satan shoes he's released with brand Mischief containing human blood. When he's not making headlines for that stuff, the country rap cowboy also officially became a homeowner in early March. Lil Nas dropped a couple million dollars on a remodeled estate in the valleys of Sherman Oaks, which is said to be his first real estate purchase ever. Not bad for a 21 year old. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, Please, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Montero Lamar Hill, better known to the world as Lil Nas X, is a rapper, singer, internet personality, and more who rose to fame with his country rap single Old Town Road. The song first went viral on TikTok in 2019 before climbing charts worldwide and becoming diamond certified later that year. Lil Nas X also came out to the public as gay while Old Town Road was topping the Hot 100, becoming the first artist to do so while having a number one record out. Since the success of this tune, Nas X then released his debut album and some more singles. Most recently, he released the music video for his new song Montero, Call Me By Your Name, which showcased the artist giving Satan a lap dance and more, which no doubt had critics and fans alike talking. Whatever is going on with Nas X and his new devil aesthetic, he still accomplished quite a bit in a short amount of time, including a few awards and nominations. Among those awards, Lil Nas X is also the first openly LGBTQ black artist to win a Country Music Association award, so I really don't think he cares what people think about him giving a lap dance to the devil. Lil Nas X has opened up about where he was at before his career exploded, and he said he was couch surfing with friends and family while figuring out what to do next in his life. In nearly two years, the young rapper changed his whole life, which includes his bank account. According to Forbes, Nas X was worth about $14 million as of 2020. But I'm sure that number will only grow in 2021 with this new Montero era. Only weeks before the release of this new single, the rapper revealed that he bought his first home, a $2 million plus modern home in Sherman Oaks, California, and he wasn't shy to show it off on social media either. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. Today we're going to check out where Lil Nas X calls home, aka his brand new property in Sherman Oaks. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but if you want to know about their other lavish purchases or the latest trends in their outfits, go subscribe to Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. We actually did one all about the Lil Nas X Satan shoes if you want to know more about the controversial kicks. The most disturbing thing about these Lil Nas X Satan shoes, they reportedly contain one drop of human blood somewhere on the soles, and not the metaphorical type. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Lil Nas X was born in Atlanta, Georgia and moved around the state when he was a kid. As I mentioned, before he made it in Hollywood, he was just couch surfing and in a series of mini life story videos on TikTok, the rapper also explained at one point he lived in a dorm at college and later in a hotel. It's safe to say his multi-million dollar starter home purchase is a big deal. Early last month, Nas X announced to fans he's become officially a homeowner. The country rap star has taken his horse and his Porsche, but he didn't move to Old Town Road. First offered back in January for $2.5 million, he scored this appealing property in Sherman Oaks, California at a slight discount for just under $2.4 million. Sherman Oaks is a San Fernando Valley neighborhood in Los Angeles that while it used to be more for suburban families, is growing in popularity even with celebs. Lil Nas's home is in a leafy pocket of the neighborhood and the hillside property went through a major renovation over the last four years, creating a contemporary and open design style inside. The sleek home was first built in the 1950s and offers 2,580 square feet of space with 4 beds and 4.5 baths. The lavish details start outside with floating concrete steps over a pond with cascading waterfalls, which leads you to the glassy front door. Then the oversized great room boasts wide plank hardwood flooring like much of the home and the space combines separate dining and living areas. The living room has a linear fireplace and a stone mantle, recessed lighting and all white ceiling 
ceilings and walls. Then we have the kitchen, which Nasex quickly posed for a photo on Instagram in. There's a stretched out island, charcoal gray cabinets, and top of the line appliances, including two ovens and an additional wine fridge. You can easily access the outdoors through these main living spaces through a large glass door, which opens to a balcony. Here you'll find amazing panoramic views sweeping over the valley. All of the bedrooms in the rapper's new home have full ensuite baths, and at the moment, two of them are used as a home gym and the other as an office. Lil Nas can treat himself to this stunning master suite where he has access to a private balcony and large walk-in closet. Not to mention, the custom attached bath features everything from a freestanding tub, rain shower, double vanity, and more, all decked out in marble. Elsewhere in his brand new home, there's even what's called a secret room according to the listing. The features don't stop indoors either, moving to the grounds of Nasex's property, the wooden deck spills out towards the impressive skyline. In the back there isn't a traditional swimming pool here, yet, but there is a raised jacuzzi with separate pool and spa sections. Other details throughout the home include built-in speakers, a finished two-car garage, storage space, 12-foot ceilings, an exterior bathroom, and a lot of grassy yard space. The Old Town Road rapper also raved over his house buying accomplishment on Instagram and Twitter, telling fans he bought his very first house. He was able to show off a handful of pictures on his fab property too, posing in the roomy bathtub and over top the modern kitchen counters. It looks like Lil Nas finally found his very own sanctuary. He also took photos holding the keys to his new digs and posing by the white open staircase with a celebratory balloon. The Panini singer opened up a few months back about how being locked up during the pandemic was actually good for his creativity. In an interview with E! News, he said, Quarantine has probably been the best thing that could have happened to me to where I am in my career right now. It's given me so much time to think through while creating music. I don't really have to hear so many outside voices while I'm creating because I'm in the comfort of my home. And now he has an even nicer abode to do all of that in. All right, so now we've taken a look at Lil Nas X's newest and first ever home he's owned in Sherman Oaks. The young rapper definitely has a lot to celebrate with his latest purchase and all the buzz around his new single. Whether you like what he's up to or not, it's undeniable he's the talk of the town. So what did you guys think about his modern estate? I think the home is a perfect size with an open and airy space and a dreamy backyard. The only thing missing is a bigger pool and maybe a little movie theater inside. Either way, I'm a fan. I also love all the balconies across the house that Nas X can take in the valley views. Be sure to let me know what you thought about his home down in the comments. If you haven't, I'd love it if you subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I'll link you my latest video and I post one every Sunday. We are staying at the Fairmont Banff Spring, but when we arrived, I was even more excited to find out the place is haunted. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tours you want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!